What's up you guys? Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. And if you're not new here, welcome back. It is currently 9.13 in the morning and I'm ready to hit a little bit of a push day. So I decided to bring you guys an extra video this week, just showing you guys a little bit of what my routine looks like right now, especially for a push day, which is my favorite day, shoulders and chest, and also give you a little bit of details on what I'm doing and why. I got my beat kicks on. I actually brought my sweat towel. I've been doing this because people are nasty as hell in the gym. And I got my hydro jug. I'm actually gonna be hitting a workout that you guys could follow along with me with. I'll go ahead and give you guys all the information. But I'm gonna go ahead and go into my app. Under my plans, I have my six weeks to slay workout. I'm gonna go ahead and restart at week one and do my push day. So I got all the workouts here. I'm gonna hit log. It's gonna start timing me. And we're ready to go. Let's get it. It's lit. Just take a look at the drip. You boys don't get fired in this. Roll a dope, yeah, I'm high as a bitch. Wait, it's lit. Get that little bitch a little tip. Now she wanna suck on the dick. She wanna catch all of the drip. Drip, drip. Pull up and I'm loading the clip. New bitch, yeah, stay on my hip. Niggas talking, they not with this shit. Catch a body, you might just get hit. But lately, been all about drip. New designer, just look at the fit. And I just blew a bag on my bitch. You got caught, but you don't got the drip. You get money, that's some type of myth. I can blind you, bitch, look at the wrist. For that bag, and I might take a risk. Don't get crushed, cause you can't buy the bitch. Pass the Henny, I'm trying to get lit. Trying to get out my body and shit. Fuck around and start body and shit. All right, you guys, so I'm about to jump into superset one. What I'm doing here is an incline chest press with dumbbells, supersetted with a push up variation of your choice. As many of you guys know, I do have an augmented chest. So when I hit chest, I make sure that I'm really focusing on my form. And one tip I have for you guys is when you're coming down, whether it be to push up or incline chest press, you should stay at about a 90 degree angle with your arms to ensure you're not going past the range of motion, pushing your chest out too much, or that you're not going too shallow. So next, I'm going to go ahead and hit another super set, which I'm gonna go with a alternating shoulder dumbbell press as well as a dumbbell push out. So I'm hitting a little bit of delts and a little bit of chest. One pointer I have for you guys is to really make sure that you're firing, firing up that anterior delt. When you're hitting chest or hitting any sort of delt isolation movement, we're gonna be actually using our shoulder the whole time. So making sure that that's properly warmed up and used is gonna really help. All right guys, so here I'm doing a cable tricep extension, a tricep dip off the bench, and tricep push-ups. When you guys start watching, you'll notice I took out the tricep push-ups. My triceps are blasted. So my quick pointer to you in this type of superset or tricep is if you're feeling like your form is being compensated or that you can't put 100% into that effort, either A, get rid of it, don't worry about it, or B, lower the weight, or C, modify it. Maybe come down on your knees. Maybe, like I said, take it out. Whatever fits you. All right, you guys, so we're finishing up here with a tricep. Probably one of my favorite blasters, if you wanna call it. We're doing lateral raises with partial raises. We're doing a bent over Y raise and dumbbell upright rows. I have a few tips for you here, and only because shoulders are so important to take care of. Our rotator cuff muscles are very tiny muscles, and if you hurt those, that's a long recovery ahead of you. So my biggest tip here is to make sure that you're doing these controlled. We're not bouncing around. We're not flaring our elbows everywhere with our shoulders. When we're coming up with any elbow movement, we're leading with our shoulders and our elbows here. Not our arms, not straight armed. Same thing with the dumbbell upright row. When I'm coming to the top, you'll notice I flare out, okay? This is so I'm really squeezing the delt the whole time. I'm not just coming up putting strain on it. If you wanna add a little bit of bounce here, just so we're not having a full load come down on our shoulders, that's completely fine. Again, rewatch these exercises, mimic how I do it, and if you have any questions, feel free to always comment below or ask. All right, you guys, so as you saw, I finished my workout. I've, I'm feeling really great, um, honestly. Uh, I stopped my workout. It was 34 minutes in 17 seconds. That's it. I'm in, I'm out. I literally had the gnarliest pump I've had in a while. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and log this workout. Looking at my stats, I lifted almost 5,000 pounds total 
in 34 minutes. It's one of my favorite parts of my app to see that, so pretty epic. When I train lately, I've really been in the mode of getting some intensity, getting in and getting out. Do you need to be in the gym for hours? The answer is hell no, you really don't. Um, there's been scientific studies that show shorter workouts with high intensity are just as good as longer workouts with a lower and maybe higher load, right? So you can get it done and you can get it done fast. A few things that I wanted to just touch on again is really making sure that form is taking precedent here. Um, yes, speed is important. We wanna get in, we wanna get out, but we don't wanna sacrifice our form. Um, that can really cause us, not only set us back in progress, but also set us back if we get an injury. So I'm sitting here right now, I'm just gonna cool down for about five, 10 minutes, maybe run through a little bit of static stretching since I am post-workout, make sure I'm getting all that blood circulating from my upper body all the way to my lower body and then cap it there. As you guys see, I am wearing my new merch. You guys can check it out below. I have my dad hat on and I have the new sports bra on. Um, I also obviously have been using my beat kicks the whole time in my hydro jug. You guys, you guys know the drill. I don't need to tell you guys that. Um, but I hope y'all are having a great day. I hope you like this mini video. I figured, you know, I do a lot of this on my Instagram, but why not show you guys a little bit more in depth and maybe even a little bit more fun looking here on my YouTube. Make sure if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss a video from me. And stay tuned for another video coming this week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't be working, I'm making it flip. What a whippy, you much get sick. Don't be extra, you know we gon' win. Getting money, I've been doing this. Since a young and I've been had to drip. Make a movie, not talking a clip. It's lit. Just take a look at the drip.